All right, in this video, we're going to talk about image rotation and OpenCV using Python. So start off by talking about what is image rotation, why do we need it, how does it work, and then jump into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll be able to see how we could rotate an image and turn it upside down like we see here on the right. So what is image rotation? So image rotation is pretty much rotating all the pixels about some axis. So here we have uh, an axis coming out of the page, and we define clockwise as this way, and then counterclockwise would be the other way. So if you use a right-hand rule, um, you have like into or out of the page, so you can use that as reference. So why do we need image rotation? So a couple of things why you might need it is, one is for image registration, if you're trying to line two different things. So last time we talked about image translation, um, sometimes translating two things is not enough and you need to rotate it. So it could be helpful if you're trying to uh, line two things. Same thing with data augmentation. Um, translating may not be enough, so sometimes you might want to randomly rotate different things in your scene. And ob object tracking is another thing. Um, you might have to change the orientation of where you're tracking. Or sometimes you just may want to have your picture look better. So uh, maybe you have a picture where the horizon line is like skewed, and then you want to shift it so that the horizon line is horizontal. Okay, so how does image rotation work? Um, you're going to have a rotation matrix here uh, about the z-axis, and it's going to be defined by some angle theta, which is in degrees or radians how you want to rotate it. And here in the OpenCV implementation, they take into account of the location of the axis that are being rotated. So if you were to derive the formula, you'll get this new equation here that tells you how to rotate it. So it's going to be uh, two rows and three column matrix. So it'll look something like this. And this is your rotation matrix part. And then this part is your translation. And then alpha can be calculated this way with some scale factor and a cosine and sine for the angle of rotation. Okay. So now let's jump into the coding example. Okay, so we're going to do some of our usual stuff, which is to import the different modules that we'll need. So import OS, import CV2 as CV, import NumPy as MP, import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and then we're going to make our function rotation, and then our if name equals main, and inside here we're going to call our rotation function. So inside of here we're going to go ahead and read in our file path, so os.getcwd, and our image path is going to be os.path.pyplot, join and then pass in roots and our path name is demo images call it qpic qpic1.jpg and then image equals cv.unread we're reading in our image we pass in the image path and then we want to get our size of our image and this is like last time we need it because uh, for our output dimension we need to specify the dimension of our output. Okay, so we're going to generate a transformation matrix. We're going to call T, and then we're going to say get uh, rotation matrix 2D. And first, we're going to pass the center location, which is width divided by 2, and then height divided by 2, which means that we'll be in the center. And then our angle of rotation is 180, and then the scale, since we're not scaling, we'll put as 1. So our transformed image. It's going to be image trans, and then we're going to call the warp affine function, and then pass in our original image, our transformation matrix, and then our output size, which is the width and height as a tuple. Okay, so once we pass that in, we're going to do image.umshow, and name of our image, we call image trans, and our image matrix, then we have our wait key to not let our image close. So if I go ahead and run this program, we should see our image gets rotated by 180 degrees as we expected. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.